many asylum seekers refusing to transfer from the Watson Hotel on West 57th Street, calling for better housing. Now the question, what happens next? PIX 11's Kieran Dillon is live for us outside the hotel in Hell's Kitchen. You were there yesterday. What's the difference between yesterday and today, Kieran? Hi, good morning, Dan. Uh, really, not a lot. You know, if you look behind me, there are still about uh, several dozen migrants who are sleeping here outside the Watson Hotel in Hell's Kitchen. They are in uh, tents and sleeping bags, just as they were yesterday. They've been here since Sunday night, but I can tell you that this, um, from being here yesterday, I can say that uh, there are more migrants today than there were yesterday overnight. Um, there is some food and um, some hot coffee, but most people are sleeping. Now, yesterday, former Manhattan Borough President Gail Brewer confirmed to PIX11 News that these migrants are not going to be forced uh, to leave this sidewalk, uh, these tents and these um, sleeping bags at least not until later today but also yesterday city workers were here there were tense negotiations between uh, them and the migrants but eventually they were able to convince them to dismantle at least part of the tent so that there could be a walkway on that side uh, there is a walkway but right now you can see uh, this area here is completely enclosed on Sunday, the city began transferring male asylum seekers who were staying here at the Watson to the Brooklyn Cruise Terminal, a new temporary relief center. The goal was to make room here for migrant families with children instead. But when many arrived at the new facility, they found it unacceptable, saying it was far from their jobs and had drastically different living conditions, including rows of cots. So many of them came back to the Watson but were denied entry. So they set up camp on the sidewalk instead. A lot of us could lose our jobs almost an hour and a half on the subway from there to here. The mayor's office says its resources are stretched thin. Manhattan Borough President Mark Levine says he feels for the migrants, but the city and Manhattan in particular are in a tough spot. We do need to have hotels for families because they can't stay in congregate setting. We had 56 million visitors last year. This isn't like the days of COVID when 80% of the hotels were empty. Still, advocates say solutions are possible and point to mismanagement by officials. So yesterday, advocates told us that uh, these migrants that are still inside of the Watson Hotel, some of them have not been moved yet, and that's because uh, they're really doing this in a staged fast fashion. So migrants are being told the date and time where a bus, an MTA bus, will come to them, come for them, and take them to the terminal. So today, we are expecting more buses to arrive uh, later throughout the day, throughout the morning, and it's really up to the migrants whether they want to join uh, this tent encampment or they want to get on the bus. We will be here throughout the day for this developing situation. As for the mayor, this is a conversation we've been covering, and he. He's been saying really for months now that the city is in desperate need of state and federal assistance.